Good morning Gemini, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am here to bring you another weekly love read. So in this reading today we're going to take a look and see what's coming through for you regarding love and relationship. It is a general reading Gemini, I always advise just to take what you need from this and leave what doesn't apply to you. Should you feel that you're connecting to this reading be sure to show your support. The best way you can do that is by liking, sharing and subscribing. If you're feeling like Gemini, this reading doesn't really speak to you as much, feel free to check out your moon sign, your rising sign and your Venus sign. But otherwise, let's dive on in. I have pre-shuffled the cards, but for the purposes of this video, I will do a quick live shuffle. Also, don't forget to let me know in the comments section below which zodiac sign you are connecting to as well. For those of you who are in a connection, it's something that I'm interested in. It's something that I like to know. I've been studying zodiac signs since I was the age of seven. So yeah. All right, let's dive on in spirit angels and guides. What messages do you have for our Gemini's that are tuning in here today regarding love and relationship for the upcoming days and week? Spirit angels and guides, what messages do you have for our Geminis, okay, first card coming through is the Six of Pentacles. So a beautiful card to kickstart your reading. This speaks to reciprocity. This speaks to being on the same page with somebody. If you look at the card, it's a branch that has pentacles growing off it. So um, this represents growth, strong growth surrounding a connection here, which is further backed up by the three of wands. Okay, so there's progressive energy here. Maybe you and the person that you're dealing with in love is ready to kind of like take it up a notch. There may be some discussions around your future together or what that looks like or what that entails for the both of you because in this deck specifically I see the three of wands as kind of like the card the crystal ball okay for some of you with the father of pentacles this is going to be around a solid commitment okay this is about getting serious here in a relationship well, you know, you've got the Six of Pentacles here. So you're both here, you're both giving, you're both pouring into the love funnel here. So it could be about taking things further. We've got the Son of uh, Swords, could be connecting to an air sign here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. With the Father of Pentacles, you've got strong earth energy, Gemini. So you could be connecting to a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You've got the Eight of Cups. Okay, right. So the Eight of Cups is telling me here that someone in this relationship is kind of not really happy with where things are at. I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say it's, it's massive, like, but there's something missing. There's something missing in this connection or it's kind of like you've got to the eight of cups and it's like, okay, I've been with this person for quite some time, but I kind of ready am, I really am kind of ready to get married or I'm ready to become a parent here. Okay, but this eight of cups and the death card, it, it does speak to something needs to change in order for a wish fulfillment to happen or occur. Look at this, we've got the Seven of Cups and we have the Mother of Cups. So you could be connecting to a water sign as well, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But yeah, like I said, what comes after the Eight of Cups is the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups represents wishes, dreams, dreams and wishes, hopes and desires, something that is ultimately going to make one of you or both of you emotionally fulfilled. But the death card is saying here, okay, well, something needs to change. Something needs to change. What's going to change? So the seven of cups here um, brings 
choices. Okay, it, it brings choices or this is many options. So you've got many different options to go down. You've got many different options to choose from that could bring about this type of change. Question is, what, what's it going to be? But the Seven of Cups can also speak to emotional confusion or feeling very confused, not really, not, not really knowing uh, uh, which cup to take at this stage? Wh which will it be? It's like eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You know, wh which is it going to be? What's going to bring me fulfillment? Let's clarify. Spirit angels, guys, can we clarify the seven of cups? Can we clarify the seven of cups? I do want to say here though, I do want to say with the Seven of Cups, not to distract you or take you off path, but there's a reason why I'm needing to share this. What you feel you really want, is it really the thing that's going to make you happy though? Because the Seven of Cups can speak to illusion. So there may be a level of illusion surrounding this so eight of cups is saying okay i've been with this person for quite some time but i don't feel compl complete i don't feel complete i feel like something's missing maybe it's xyz but is it really is it really that or are you just telling yourself it's that or is the other person just telling themselves it's that because it, it probably isn't that and the reason why I say that is because one of these cups is turned upside down. Does that make sense, Gemini? It's kind of like, well, what you might think might make you happy or make you feel fulfilled. It really isn't that after all. Mm. But the death card, this is, this is Scorpio energy here. Um, what really, really might be the thing that makes either of you happy here. It needs to happen. The changes need to happen within. But let's just clarify because I kind of feel like I've kind of veered off here. So let's just clarify the Seven of Cups. Spirit, angels and guides. Yeah. There's the star. So reaching for something here with the star card reaching for something here that you may feel is the thing that brings ultimate happiness. It could be something that is out of reach or unattainable right now. But what I'm getting wishful thinking, that's what I'm getting here with the Seven of Cups and the Star. This is wishful thinking. So I feel like whatever this wishful thinking is, it's, it's not the thing that's going to make you both happy or make you happy. It's something else. Let's have a look at the Death card. Spirit, angels and guides, can we please clarify the death card? Oh, that's really interesting. You've got the Mother of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Mother of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Mother of Swords is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You can see with this Mother of Swords, she's perched up on this sword. She's trying to get an elevated perspective. Looking at something differently. In order for you both to feel happy, the Eight of Pentacles is asking for dedication. It's like you, you've got to work at it. You know, um, okay, you, you're both in this connection or you're both in this relationship. Someone might be feeling dissatisfied here because one might be expecting the other person to show more love or say I love you. But it's, you know, you're both needing to work at it. See, we've got four of pentacles on one side and another four pentacles on the other side. So in order to 
have something solid and stable here with someone in order to create a life with someone here because we can see this spider has created some kind of a web here it's going to require work it's going to require dedication and I guess persistence on both ends but you as you can see the mother of sword she's perched up high so it's getting um an elevated perspective or seeing something differently here or seeing the situation differently it could be the mother of swords is also gaining clarity or seeing this from a realistic point of view because I'm, I'm getting over here that this is wishful thinking the thing that you think is going to make you happy is not the thing that is going to make this connection happy or you happy or them happy okay it's thinking uh, realistically here mm. Can we um, expand on the Mother of Cups? This is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ah, there's the Nine of Wands with the Lovers. Nine of Wands with the Lovers. Okay, there's Gemini Energy with the Lovers. You could be wondering whether or not this person that you're connecting to is on the same page as you. You may be feeling sort of a little bit protective around, you may be feeling emotionally protective is what I wanna say. You may be feeling like you're protecting yourself or needing to protect yourself because it could be here that you're unclear or unsure if this person wants the same thing as you or if they're headed in the same direction as you. Again, with the Nine of Wands, I wanna say, all relationships take work. Don't give up on this connection. Okay, sometimes it's gonna feel like you're both going in different, completely different directions. But does that, does that mean that we abandon the relationship? Does that mean that's a good enough reason to abandon our partners? No, I feel like with the Nine of Wands here, it's saying don't give up on the, on the love, don't give up on the relationship. But rather, with the Mother of Cups, let's come in and support our partner. Let's support one another here. Maybe you feel like your partner doesn't support you, or maybe you feel like your partner doesn't support the path that you're going down. Okay, but I, I do want to get, I do want to come in and sort of say, don't give up. It, it's all about just taking it one day at a time. Okay, seeing the bigger picture here. So let's take a look at some extra messages for you, Gemini. Spirit angels and guides, what extra messages or advice do you have for our Geminis? We've got between worlds. There you go. Now this is a number three card. So three represents compromise, meeting in the middle, um, growth. There's potential for growth. There's potential to certainly go the next level. But I feel here between worlds, okay, maybe both of you are kind of wanting different things or this may be transitionary energy. So you may be both going through some kind of transition in your relationship where it does feel a little confusing. It does feel a little heavy here with the dark clouds. It is a lack of clarity. But one foot forward in front of the other, one day at a time, it's going to bring um, clarity. We can see here on the other side of the card is blue skies. Okay, let's see what the angels have to say about this. Spirit angels and guides, what messages or advice do you have here for our Geminis? So the children card came out, it is in the reverse. It could literally be in re relation to children here. 
Um, I don't really take reversals when it comes to Oracle cards, but I just felt like I needed to. It could be about children. Maybe there's a lack of clarity around whether or not you will have children or you can have children. Maybe you're wanting to expand your connection. Maybe you're ready to start a family. Maybe the other one isn't ready. Maybe someone here is feeling like children's gonna complete the connection. Okay, the thing that you think is going to make you happy, you might think children. It might be children that's gonna make us happy. But again, I invite you to kind of feel into that or think about that or get curious around that. Okay, because it might not necessarily be the right time. Um, yeah. Now that might not resonate for all of you, but for some of you that it does resonate, please let me know. Because I understand not everyone's situation is going to involve children. Okay, let's take a look and see what the Twin Flame Oracle cards want to say. We've got abandonment here. Okay, you're feeling like or someone's feeling like you're not really being understood. You may be feeling like I'm in this relationship, but my partner doesn't really get me or they don't really understand what I'm going through right now. Someone may be feeling abandoned or someone may be feeling isolated or alone. Okay, you're in a relationship, but you feel so lonely in this connection. Again, turning to the fact that you might want to start a family because that might be the thing that makes you happy or brings fulfillment or happiness. Okay, it doesn't have to be children. It could be something else. It could be like, maybe we need to go on a holiday. Maybe the, you know, it's a holiday. Someone is feeling guilty here. Um, guilty. Someone may be feeling, if you can't, if you're, say, I know this is a very sensitive topic and I, and I am very, like I'm trying to approach this very, very sensitively, but if, if you're a Gemini tuning into this reading and you want to have a family, but you may be feeling like you cannot fall pregnant, there may be a sense of feeling guilty that you cannot provide your partner with a child. Or someone here in this connection may feel partly responsible uh, for not being able to provide you the things that you want. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be very broad with this, but also trying to maintain respect for the viewer around a, a, such a sensitive topic. But someone feels responsible, someone feels guilty here. I do want to say with the trust card, there, there's a, a, a need to trust that whatever predicament you're finding yourself in, it's, the, it's for the greater good or it's for a specific reason. You know what, I am going to uh, clarify that. Let's clarify the trust card. But it's like, okay, you might not see this woman, she's blindfolded, you might not see, you know, what the future entails here, or it's like you cannot get a clear visual around what that is, but it is asking for you to have faith and trust. Uh, we've, again, there's the Queen of Cups. She is in reverse. The Queen of Cups represents a motherly energy. I don't know why I get a strong sense that someone feels like they cannot become a parent or they cannot become a mother or they feel like a failure in this department. Okay, or someone feels emotionally disconnected right now. But it's like there's a reason why someone's feeling emotionally disconnected. You know, the Queen of Cups is an energy of someone who is being overtaken by their emotions, allowing one's emotions to get on top of them or control them here. But sometimes 
that's just life, you know. Um, it, it, the, the situation is creating this. But I do want to say here, this, this feeling that you're feeling or this feeling that this person is feeling, it will pass. It will pass. So there we have it, guys. That's your reading, Gemini. Uh, thank you for tuning into this reading to the very end. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And until my next video, take care.